Yes, it could use a good wash. Don't worry, I'll take it easy. Hang it there. Your wood is pretty serious. Oh, look at that blood. Dirt and dust too. Easy and gently. Oh, good lord. Obviously someone shot you, kid. You're lucky the bullet just grazed you and didn't hit any bone. But still, regular bandages won't do for this. I'll take you to the hospital myself. Just give me till dawn. That can't be right. You look just like him. Could you be really him? How? How is this possible? He came back. My heart sensed it. No. I won't be taking you to the hospital, boy. The people who shot you, it's clear they weren't kidding around. I'll take care of you myself. And the moment you wake up, we'll decide what to do with you. But who are you? Come on, let's switch. You've been driving all night. No, driving helps me think properly. This could go two ways. The first option is Pavel's dead. It could be from anything, car crash, fight, robbery, and then, well, the sorts. And the second one, he wanted to disappear. It could be something else. So what then? He walked, trip, and woke with a cast? He could have just called or sent us a text to let us know he's okay. Plus, he told my dad he'd do the surgery himself. My dad has brain tumor. It's rough because his whole life, he's been helping people, fighting for their lives. And now, the one guy who could help him just ghosts him. Pavel promised he'd do the surgery. He and dad shook on it. Dad was ready to trust him, you know, and now he's nowhere to be found. Dad's waiting on him. Excuse me, sir. I know that you're busy, but I'd really like to be around when you're talking about me. Marina, let's not jump to conclusions before I meet up with your dad, okay? Let's not get too worked up about this. You're talking like a doctor now. I get even more clueless when you speak yeah, to me that way. Yeah, I understand. Way. But all hope isn't lost. Just because Pavel has suddenly gone missing. I promise I'll do my best to help your dad. Thank you very much. <sighs> Dr. Semyonov collapsed during surgery. Bring me a gown, please. Coming right up, sir. Where is he? He's at Ward 4. Marina, good day. Good day, doctor. How's my dad doing? Let's go. Just walk with me. I'll try my best to explain everything that we saw. We're all shocked by what happened. He never showed us any signs of illness. Sergey, help her with the cold, please. He's in the ICU. I was shocked too. He hid his illness from all of us. Well, look where that got Thank him. Daddy. 
Daddy. I kept telling him every single day. Take a break, put your feet up, go on vacation. But we all know him. He's a stubborn old coot who wouldn't listen. He's gonna need more than a break. With a tumor that size. That thing's big. So what do you suggest we do? I don't know, sir. You're the boss now. What's your suggestion? The surgery is gonna be difficult. But can we manage it? Do we have any choice? Andre would manage. Well, if you're gonna ask me, I'd say, let's try. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Could you tell me how long it'll take till my dad wakes up? Um, it'd be best if you asked the doctors about that. I'm not in the position to say. May I? But you, you must have an idea. You're a nurse, aren't you? <sighs> Ma'am, I'm just going to put up an IV line on him. I suppose it'd be better if you wait outside. Okay. Okay. Hey, Alexander, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too, Sergey. I think I heard the nurses outside are looking for you. What for? I have no idea at all. Good to see you, sir. Same to you. Fascinating. It's fascinating. Pavel? Pavel? It's just me, Pavel. Marina. You. I didn't mean to startle you. I have the keys to his apartment because we're childhood friends, you know. He, um, uh, he invited me over to discuss about a surgery. I just wanted to check something out. I heard the noise and thought that Pavel was back. I had no idea. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I came over to pick up my father's MRI. 
Yeah, it's upstairs. Uh-huh. <sighs> Marina. I've been meaning to tell you something. Whew. <clears throat> I couldn't tell you at the hospital earlier. I didn't want Kazachenko to hear me. What is it? <sighs> I was aware of your father's situation from the beginning. Pavel, he uh, brought me in and showed me the scan, so we went over in detail, and we also strategized and looked for solutions. So, do you know what to do? Yes, yes, I do know. But, uh, there's something else. Sit, please. <clears throat> I didn't want to say anything before, but I saw the scans. Your dad's tumor? has been growing rapidly. We need to act fast. You understand? But... Pavel is not here. Pavel's not here, right. But look, from the beginning, the issue uh, wasn't about who'd do the surgery. Do you hear me, Marina? <laughs> the problem was the lack of a solution, and Pavel and I managed to find one. I'll call a board meeting tomorrow, and we'll go over each step of the procedure. But... Mm, for the surgery to happen, I would require your written consent. What? I... I just... I... I just don't understand all these medical terms you're saying and... No problem. I'm sure... They will explain them to you so that you can weigh out the pros and cons. But you have to make the decision. I understand. I... Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. Mm -hmm. I just need to go someplace yeah. else. Oh, Marina. Your dad scans. I'll go grab him for you. Thank you so much for seeing me. No problem. I have a lot of time in my hands. So what happened? I just came here to talk to you about my father. Hmm. So you want to know my professional opinion? Uh, of course, you knew everything. You knew and didn't tell me. For how long? About two months from now. I even offered him to be examined at my institution. He's really counting on Andrea. Yes, but Pavel has gone missing. And his friend who works at the same hospital, Sergei, says they actually prepared for the surgery together. The board meeting is tomorrow, and I would really like it if... You'd tell me your honest thoughts about the surgery and the situation as a whole. I see. It's very tricky because the tumor's in such a bad spot and the surgeon is going to remove it needs to be top-notch. I had faith that Andreev can do it, but now you're saying that he's gone missing. Pavel, this is insane. This doesn't make any sense. What a load of crap. <sighs> hello, hello. Hello, Sergey. I've just checked in with Dr. Semyonov. He hasn't woken up yet. What should we do? I don't know. I don't know. I just saw his scans. What's his chance of survival? I'm not sure. I don't think we can even help him at all. That's just awful. Gosh, perfect timing. And Andreev's gone missing. What does he have to do with this? Screw that guy. It's always Andreev, Andreev. What for? Sergei, I'm sorry. What, do you think he's better than me? Sergei, calm down, please. 
I'm sorry, don't get upset. That's not what I meant. You're a talented surgeon, and I'm sure you already know what you're doing. <sighs> Andreev. I'm just worried about Dr. Semyonov, that's all. Oh, hello. Good day, sir. I didn't expect to see you today. I heard the news yesterday about Dr. Semyonov's illness. Yes, it came as a shock to us. It all happened so fast, but now that we've seen his scans, we've decided that Sergei will be performing his surgery. What about Andreev? We'd all like to know where he is. He's not here. Uh, the board meeting is tomorrow. We'll discuss what options we have. Would you like some tea? Stop it with the courtesies. You know the minister and I discussed it, and we have decided that it'll be best to assign you as the acting medical chief until Dr. Semyonov has recovered and deemed fit to do his job. You know, Svetov already called and broke the news to me first. You came in a little late, no offense, sir. Yeah. I don't like meddling in other people's business. My, uh, little girl. Well, she's quite a handful, you know. I believe you've met her. She takes after her late mother. And she, you know, she... Listen, um, sir. You trusted me to lead the entire department. Believe me, I can manage things at home. Hmm. I do hope I can count on your good judgment. Um, would you mind showing me the way to Dr. Semyonov's room? Nah, I can't right now. I've got more pressing matters to attend to. Uh, try asking the nurses. They'll be happy to show you. Okay, very well then. I'll get going. <clears throat> Remember to wear shoe covers, sir. Those things that look like plastic bags. It's all right. You're safe here. No one's gonna hurt you. It's okay. Father. Go to sleep now. Get some rest. So, Pavel, you must think you're a genius.
Are we expecting guests? Oh, come on now. I've been waiting an hour just for you. Let's have a toast. For my very talented husband. Thank you, darling, but I, uh... No, don't say anything. My father called me. He told me everything. I hope you can forgive me. Hmm. And where is Nika? Actually, she agreed to stay at my dad's tonight so that we can have some alone time. Where are you going? I'm sorry, darling. I've been running on fumes. I had a difficult day. Didn't your dad tell you that part? I'm going straight to bed. Where are you, Glasha? Behave. Stay right here. Stay right here. Take it easy. It's all right. Calm down, son. Don't move. It's okay. Shh, calm down. Oh, my goodness. You have quite the temperature. You need some stitches. But I've got nothing here. All right. I'll run to the village and be right back. Hang in there, okay? The condition of the patient is estimated at 70 points, according to the Karnowski scale. His condition is characterized by severe cerebral symptoms like diplopia, left-sided pyramidal insufficiency up to 3 points in the left hand and up to 4 points in the patient's left leg. The most recent MRI of the patient's brain revealed a volumetric formation on the sphenoid bone plate, which means the tumor has spread into the upper orbital gap. The tumor has affected the right internal carotid artery, which only increases the risk. That's why, colleagues, considering the patient's condition, I wouldn't delay the surgery even for a day. Of course, if Ms. Semyonov gives her approval. Excuse me, doctor. We get the whole picture now. But I would like to ask about the strategies of this surgery you're proposing, considering the... the patient's age. Thank you. I see. As for the strategy... The first stage should be the craniotomy of the right frontal temporal area. Right. The next step will be the microsurgical removal of the tumor. After that, we can determine how feasible it is to isolate the right internal carotid artery from the tumor and how possible it is to free the uh, patient's optic nerve. Right. Right. And then we'll be able to... Uh... Please, go inside. I'll be Good morning, right there Tatiana. shortly. Good morning, Vasily. Tell me, What's dear, up? does your medical professor happen to still be here? Ivan? No, he's doing his rounds. Do you need Tatiana, him? Tatiana, Glasha has severely cut her paw earlier. I need to stitch it up. Uh -huh. Would you happen to have any suturing needles? Don't you worry. I'll give you everything you need. Listen, has anything weird happened in the village? Any accidents or untoward incidents? No, why? No, nothing. Just asking. Ah. Uh. Here you go. These are the vials of painkillers, uh, suturing uh, needles, everything you might need. Can you stitch her up yourself? I can stitch it up myself. I used to be an army doctor. I'm quite good at suturing wounds. 
All right, then. If anything comes up, just call me. I can come and help. I don't want to impose. Your boss is already a handful. Well, yeah, it's hard work for him. But he's a good man. And a good doctor. He's just stressed. That's all. Well, he needs to retire soon. Just you wait. <laughs> well, Forget yeah. about him. Hey, the herbs you were asking for will be ready soon. I'll bring them to you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too, now. I have complete confidence that this surgery will be successful. And I'm sure that you would agree with me that it's better for Dr. Semyonov to stay at our hospital. You know, I... I think you're right. The odds are good, but you can't deny that there's a huge risk involved. Yes, that's true. Ms. Semyonov, at this point we're only waiting for your consent to proceed. Dear colleagues, please forgive my bluntness. I have known Dr. Semyonov for over 30 years now. We stood side by side at surgeries actually, as you can say, shoulder to shoulder. It's just that it's quite hard for me to process that a brilliant surgeon, one of his best students, Pavel Andreev, is not present in this room today. Colleagues, I'd like to point out, Dr. Strelnikov is also an experienced surgeon, despite his young age. Thank you, sir. Yes, well... I think that overall, the approach you've chosen seems to be the right one. And we can do chemo. And radiation. Very well. Uh, Anna, please, what about our approach with anesthesia? The electrocardiogram is stable. No vascular disorders or problems with cardiac activity. Mm -hmm. I believe the patient's heart can handle prolonged anesthesia. Thank you. I suggest we proceed with the surgery immediately. Miss Semyonov, what's your decision? Everything will be okay. It took me a while to decide. But Kazachenko said we can trust Sergei and that he'll handle the surgery. Can you hear me? Everything will be fine. I'm right here with you. Daddy. Please stay here, ma'am. Behave. Glasha. Glasha. All right, girl. Stay there. Keep watch. How are you doing? I've brought everything you need. Just hang in there, son. Marina, you can go wait in the staff room. But, Sergei, It'll I... It'll be fine. Please, I... This is going to hurt, but I still can't bring you to the hospital. I'm all set, Doctor. Now let's get started. Yes, let's proceed with the surgery. Are you ready? And you? Scalpel. You'll have to stay with me. Get better. And then we'll see.
Easy. Easy. Do you want some tea? No, thank you. Nurse Lita, do you think they'll allow me to watch the surgery? I think it'll be tough for you to watch, ma'am. It's tougher to sit still. I'd rather be there for my dad. Well, all right then, let's go. Let's begin. Very well. Dr. Gromov, how's it going? Is it going well? Not bad, normal. Normal? Yes, everything is fine, so keep calm. Your father is a strong man with an even stronger willpower. Yes, that's my daddy. He'll pull through. God, please. It's a pity that... Andreev didn't bother to come. More. Come on, faster, faster! Right. Dissector. To the right, let's continue. The patient is showing centrogenic reaction. Oh no, please, not now. We need to stop right now. That's not possible. We're accessing the artery. We have to wait for a couple of minutes at least. So go and wait! What's happening? So far, so good. Colleagues, I urge you to remain calm. They hit a nerve ending which caused... a reflex pass uh, Is it dangerous? Blood pressure's rising. It'll be fine, Anna. Don't worry about it. Everything's under control. Mm-hmm. It'll be all right. Heart rate is less than 60. There you go, it's looking beautiful. Bradycardia. Bradycardia. Sergei's getting worse. What's happening now? What they should be doing is stopping the surgery, however... What do you mean? Wait a moment, Sergei cannot stop now, you see? He's doing the resection of the corroded artery. <gasps> Just a little bit more... Go. Whew. The pulse is back to normal. But of course. Of course. Don't tell me you doubted me. Mm-hmm. You did it. Did he? There's nothing to worry about. Right. Wipe my forehead. Uh-huh. More, please. Thank you. I told you it would be all right. Strolnikov is a talented specialist. Everything went smoothly. It's all good. Let's continue on, colleagues. Well done. Proceed to the basilar artery carefully. Okay. <sighs> 
Remember what Dr. Semyonov always says? Any sort of risk must be justified. Uh -huh. All right, everyone. <clears throat> I believe we've done all that we could. Did we? Absolutely. Well done, then. Well done. <sighs> Sergey, congratulations. You did great on the surgery. So can I go see him right now? Just for a moment. Yes, they'll be taking him back to intensive care. You will see him in the corridor. All right. Thank you. Yes, go. You can go now. Maxim, my friend, would you kindly close him up for me? Dr. Maxim, you're up. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. You did not even listen to me. But still, you did well. Clean up. It's all right. Thank God it went well. It's okay. His condition is stable, which means... Well done. It's all right. Sergey. Oh, my goodness. I'm so thankful to you. <laughs> Thank Happy you. to help, Marina. Daddy. Dad... Be gentle to him, all right? <sighs> I've been waiting for 30 minutes. Anna, uh, Kazachenko approached you at the corridor today. What did he say to you? He asked if I'm coming to the meeting tomorrow. He wanted me to see the patient's charts beforehand. That's it? That's it. <sighs> Has anybody asked anything, the professor? Are you being jealous right now? You have nothing to worry about, Sergey. If he starts seducing me, I'll send him to you straight away, okay? Mm hmm Come on, time to sleep. Just a sec. Hey, what's wrong? Sergey, what's going on? It's nothing. What are you thinking? I didn't deserve all that praise today. Why is that? Because I botched that surgery. You did everything you could. Uh, not everything. You saved his life. Uh, no, that's a thing I didn't. <laughs> if only I completed it, you know. If only I'd removed it. The entire thing. But I, I froze. I, I just stood there.
I... I got scared. <clears throat> Frightened, even. You did everything you could. I understand that. You understand that. Everybody understands. Semyonov would have done the same if he were in your shoes. Glasha, you have to get used to our guest, okay? He looks exactly my son, Alexei. Could have sworn it was him, I'm sure. That's why he turned up here, out of the blue, and knocked on the door. What a twist of fate. Okay, go now, go, go! Let's go. Run. Now, come on, hurry. Glasha! Glasha! Hello there. Hi, Glasha. Uncle Vasily said you hurt your paw. Come on, let me see your boo boo. Come here. Glasha! Anybody home? Hello, sir, and you are? <gasps> Easy. Easy. A wounded paw, huh? Easy now, easy. Just stay put, sir. Uh, 
Be careful, sir. You shouldn't stand up. Come on, Glasher. Go home. Go on home. Glasser, you watch the door. Well, hello there, Uncle Vasily. I wanted to check on Glasher's paw. Hello, Tachara. Please forgive me. I'm really sorry. I had to lie to you. Is he okay? He's struggling. Is that why you needed such your kids? Who is he? Please, let's talk outside. I'll tell you everything. That's absurd. Am I gonna have to take a vow of silence? How can I keep this secret now? Just understand, we can't take him to the hospital. Nobody, and I mean nobody, should know about him. I've known you my whole life and I've always trusted you. But now you're lying to me. Who is he that you care about him so much? Come on. Don't you remember? Alexei? Alexei? As in your Alexei? Stop asking like I'm crazy. Come on, what are you talking about? Is it Alexei or not? I swear, just give me a day and I'll figure things out. And please, I beg you, never mention this to anyone. Okay, I'll keep quiet. You need to take care of the sutures. I'll come back tomorrow. Anytime, dear. Hello? Good afternoon, Marina. I'm calling you from Rysk already. Yes, good afternoon. There's something I'd like to discuss with you in person. Can you come around? Is there any news? The local forester said that he heard a gunshot in the nearby woods on the night that Pavel disappeared. Maybe it's nothing, but I think we need to look into it. Uh, all right, I understand. Mm. I'll arrive as soon as I can, okay? All right, I'll be waiting. Yes, I'll see you. Thank you. Come on, boy, drink it. There you go. Easy. Come on, slowly, boy. Very good. It's going to get better. The pain will go away. Drink oh, up, drink. You, you gotta have drink. a mirror. What? Is there a mirror? A mirror? Uh, a mirror. Here you go. Just look at how nasty this wound was on your head. Don't worry, it will be okay. And don't worry, the pain will go away. There won't even be a scar. <laughs> Who am I? What? <laughs> 